Toby, you were supposed to be the man that never left me. Go away for two nights and you've already replaced me. Such a problem, child. Cheers, my girl. Can we see a picture of you two ladies? No, thank you. We look like shit, but thanks, babe. <laughs> Welcome back to X Media Eggs and another weekly vlog. It is Monday about 6 pm. Don't know because the clock's broken. I really need to fix that clock, it's bugging me. Uh, it's in the evening. I've just been working on the weekly vlog and blog post today. I hardly slept last night. I feel absolutely knackered. I just had the worst nightmare. I started to watch Luther <laughs> on Netflix and it's brilliant, but it's a little bit scary for me. So um, it's been playing on my mind and I just, I had this hideous nightmare, couldn't get back to sleep, so I feel so, so tired. Today's been a bit of a struggle, uh, which is why I haven't spoken to you until now, but I've got some stuff done, so I'm feeling pretty positive. Um, and I'm gonna get cracking with my dinner. So I'm trying out HelloFresh this week. Um, it's not sponsored, but they have sent me a box for free. They've been banging on about it for a while. And I was like, yeah, do you know what? I'll give it a go. And I've got things, I've got their rapid box. So I've got things like a red, uh, prawn Thai curry, some like Parisian chicken thing and like a lamb tagine um, and I've, it's for two people so I can basically like, cook it and have it for lunch and dinner and swap them all around um, and it should feed me for a week I reckon but it's their rapid box so everything is done within 15 minutes that's not all of it that's just some of the ingredients left over the dry ones and then the rest are in the fridge seems pretty simple seems pretty handy um, so I'm gonna give that a go this week and I'll let you I'll let you know how I get on very exciting delivery today I finally got the new samples for the t-shirts and they are super soft and they look amazing Amazing, and this is my new logo and oh, I'm very very happy indeed they look so so good so stay tuned because something big is coming and you are going to be able to get your hands on these and all profits are going to go to mind the charity so yeah if you need me I'll be wearing both of these today probably at once together I'm just so happy with them so, first HelloFresh meal is a Moroccan style lamb, which sounds amazing. I basically, I'm doing this one because this and the prawns run out first. So I'm gonna do this one today, prawns tomorrow and then chicken the day after. Um, having it for lunch. And then I think because I'm going out this evening, um, if there's any left over, I can just have it quick for dinner as well. I wouldn't normally have two things in the same day. But it looks pretty easy. You just have all those ingredients, which are all here, all like pre sort of like done out for you. And then it's only got six steps and it's meant to take 15 minutes. So I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see how tasty it is. Oh my God, I'm terrible. I filmed myself making this stuff and then I didn't even film, <laughs> film it when it was finished. It's actually really nice. It's very flavoursome. The lamb's lovely, like really good quality meat. Quite tomatoey. It's huge. This is one of three portions, so wow. I might have to go in the freezer. Hi, I'm going bowling for the evening to get myself out of the house and to stop myself working, even though I've got loads to do. This is my bowling attire, this lovely t shirt from Joni Clothing. I should be rock rocking one of my branded ones, shouldn't I? That's a bit sad, maybe. <laughs> so excited um and yeah this is from journey clothing i absolutely love it. it says your name here it's very cute and it just feels like a good quality t-shirt anyway i'm gonna leave you here for the night so i can enjoy myself and switch off a little bit wish me luck hope that i win and i also hope that i don't do my back in like the last time i went bowling I'm such a problem child <laughs> Good morning everybody. I look a bit mad this morning. Um, I had the worst dream again. I've been having like really scary, really horrific dreams about people like coming into my house and like attacking me and stuff and I can't move because they're on top of me like trying to kill me and things and yeah they're really realistic and very very scary and I had another one last night and I just couldn't sleep like it literally woke me up about 2 a.m and i couldn't sleep um so i went in the shower <laughs> just to try i don't know what i was doing i just went in the shower and just let the water sort of flow over me trying to calm me down a little bit um i went to bed with wet hair so that is a long story of why i look like crap this morning um i've just been working on some stuff for the blog i've got loads on at the moment um yeah i was supposed to be filming a video today this afternoon but i just don't think I've got it in me <laughs> to be able to do it so I think I might put that off to tomorrow and do like the blog post I was going to do tomorrow today. I'm just making myself a bacon sandwich because I just felt like I needed some comfort food and it's in the fridge and it needed using. Oh, it's like it's proper shaking me up like my brain is just mad at the moment. I think it's because I've got so much on like my brain is just like buzzing around and stuff and maybe I saw something on the telly about two days ago and it's ingrained in there. <sighs> maybe I need some self-defense classes. <laughs> 
rocking a bloom from the darkness t-shirt today. Absolutely love them. Um, so I'm heading up into town. I'm getting some new glasses. So I'm trying out these new lenses from Zeiss, which are basically, they have like UV protection. I've been learning so much about our eyes recently. So I didn't realize, just like a skin, there's UV rays every single day that can actually affect your eyes. And it's one of the leading causes of cataracts um, when you're older is the UV rays, um, but the only way to really do it is to wear sunglasses all the time until Zeiss have created these lenses that actually stop the UV rays. So they're just normal glasses, they're not the tinted ones that change colour or anything, just literally clear lenses that you can have put in your glasses that help stop cataracts and all the damage going through to your eyes. So I've had some new glasses made with those and I'm going to go and pick them up now. I always get excited for new glasses. <laughs> Are you ready to see my new glasses? I actually love them. They're from a brand called Coco Mint uh, that I've never heard of before, actually. But this is what they look like. Da da da! They're really nice. They're a little bit different to the round ones that I normally have. They're a little bit more sort of cat eye, but not too much. Um, I think they're really pretty, and they've kind of got like, like a pinky kind of brown tortoise shell to them. How clear are these lenses? Like, it's actually insane. I was sat in like, the shop and she was adjusting them for me and I was like, have these even got lenses in? Like, you can see a tiny bit of reflection from the window, but they're just like weirdly clear. It's odd. Like, let's have a look at versus the Specsavers ones, which have also got anti-glare, but they're not these like special Zeiss lenses. Yeah, see, I feel like these are clear, but not as clear as the other ones. It's impressive, really impressive. And there's a little leaflet here. This is this actually isn't sponsored. They've paid me to talk about it on Instagram, but not on here, but I genuinely am. <laughs> like, proper amazed by it. Look at this. So with the UV stuff, you know, so you know when they put those UV lamps on people's faces and you can see like all the imperfections that you can't see without the UV lamp and it shows you all the skin damage. This is what those lenses look like. Oh. <laughs> this is what those lenses look like. So under the UV light, you can see that they're the equivalent of sunglasses, but they're perfectly clear. I'm actually amazed, like genuinely, it's a bit magic. <laughs> yeah. oh. Good morning too. It's Thursday. Um, I'm tired today. I felt like I had a really good night's sleep, but I'm still like super, super tired. Um, today I am just in editing a blog post and then later I'm gonna go pottery painting with Lucy. Although I've got nothing to paint, so I don't know what to actually do. I've got a vase, I've got multiple animals around the house, I've got two mugs in the kiln. Ah, <sighs> need to think of something new to paint. <laughs> it's definitely an addiction. Um, the weather is absolutely vile. Where is this wonderful summer gone? I know we're all complaining that it was too hot, but now we kind of want a little bit of the sunshine back. It's so grey and miserable, it's ridiculous. Oh, the Thai curry was actually pretty good. It was lacking a little bit of flavour, but then again, it was made in 15 minutes um, from packet ingredients, so um, it wasn't that bad for what it was. I think if you do, if you've got like a little jar, of red Thai curry paste, which I don't have. I've got a jar of green Thai curry paste and a packet of red. Um, but if you had a jar, you could have put just like a little bit more um, paste in just to give it a bit more flavor. But do you know what? As far as a basic Thai curry goes, it really wasn't that bad. And it was genuinely ready in 15 minutes. So you cannot complain, really. I'm trying to recreate the guacamole and eggs that Maggie made me last week, but it's just not the same. Come back, Maggie. Maggie. Right, I need to head into town to get a few bits and bobs for Maggie when she stays tomorrow because it's very exciting. She's looking after Toby for me while I go through a spa review, which will be lovely. Um, but I'm going to get her some stuff. I'm going to get her um, a little set of PJs. <laughs> and she really likes showers, not baths. So I'm going to get her like, some really nice smelling shower gel and some little um, chocolatey treats and stuff to have when she gets here. Um, so I'm going to head off and do that. I also need to do something else. What do I need to do? Get my glasses adjusted, I need to go and get that because the things around the back is just a little bit too tight so I'm going to get them to heat them and mould them a little bit. Um, and then I'm coming back doing a bit more work on pottery painting. Sorry, it's been a quiet day today I have to say. I'm in one of my dresses from Barley. They are just so comfortable. Um, I just whack them on and then I feel really fancy because I feel done up even though I'm not done up at all. Um, yeah, sorry, it's been a quiet day. I've just been whacking out blog posts left, right and centre. So we've got some good content coming your way if you like to read. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'll catch up with you later. I'll try and I'll show you what I'm picking at pottery because I've got no idea what I'm gonna bloody paint. 
That was really fun. So I've made Maggie a little pamper parcel. These are some super cozy PJs and they've got a little dog on them because she's the dog sitter. Um, and she was really cold last weekend so I've got some like extra cozy ones. Hopefully they'll fit and she'll like them. She also likes to have really long showers instead of baths so I thought I'd get her some nice shower gel instead of like a bath um, foam or anything. This is called Cosmic Unicorn and it smells amazing. Uh, then I've got some snacks. Good old fashioned cheesy balls and some Maltesers. Couldn't find the button things that she likes. I don't know where they've gone but Maltesers are also good. A little face mask to do after her shower and then because she's a 15 year old <laughs> she really likes Malibu and Coke so I got her a bottle of Malibu and some Coke. And then Lucy's present for looking after Toby while we're on our trip is in there but I can't show you because we'll be still, we'll still be away while this goes live so she'll see what it is. And then I picked these up for Ellie because I just really like them. I saw them and I thought they'd, they'd really suit her with her short hair so I'm going to give her those on Saturday and hopefully she will like them. What is that that's in there? Some crap. I like them, they're pretty. I also couldn't resist getting myself some PJs because we're going to be spending, I'm going to the spa with Ellie on Saturday, I'm sharing a room and then obviously I'm sharing a room while we're away uh, with Maggie. So I thought I'd better cover up <laughs> and get some PJs just in case it's hot where we're going. So this one says uh, fancy a hug and it's got a cacti on it and this one says true love and it has pizza on it. I just really like those, they were £5 each so £10 for two PJs, what a bargain. And they've got the new improved sizing, they now do them in 10 to 12 again. They only used to do them 8 to 10 and then 12 to 14. So I'm hoping, they did these before and then they took them away, so I'm hoping that this size still fits. But um, yeah, they're super cute, so I couldn't resist. I feel like the Pied Piper of presents today without the luring children to a gruesome death thing. Um, but yeah, it was really nice buying people presents. I love buying people presents. I'm such a sad dog. I get really excited around Christmas time and stuff. Not for my own presents, but just buying other people's stuff because I just can't wait to see their reaction when they see it. So hopefully everyone will like everything and we're all good. Right, I'm going to heat up some of that Moroccan lamb thing for my tea before I head out to Pretty Pots. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning team, happy Friday. I've just been over to Pretty Pox to collect the bowl that I did last night because it was just drying and I also got myself a slice of cake and a coffee from them because their cake is the best. But this is what I made, let me show you. It's really bright in here, one sec. It, this is what I made yesterday. Today, um, I didn't know what to do, so I just had a look around, and there was this really cute little bowl. And basically, this is a Japanese um, thing, <laughs> a Japanese thing called kintsugi, which is where they repair broken bowls with real gold um, to symbolise the fact that even though something's broken, it can actually make it more beautiful um, and also stronger as well and it's something that I discovered when obviously everything happened to me almost two years ago and there's a little quote that quite a few of you guys actually sent me and then Lucy got it me on a notebook and it's just it's just really lovely and it's always sort of stuck with me so I thought I'd try and recreate a kintsugi bowl and that's what it looks like and I'm really pleased with it it like took two hours it was dead easy to do it was like a obviously a white ceramic bowl painted it black and then just kind of sponged on hope you can see just kind of like dry brushed on um, some white and gray um, and then drew on the cracks, but I really like it. So I'm gonna put it in my living room And that's what I did with my evening yesterday everything ready for cocktail night tonight It is my job to bring the glassware the cocktail sets and also some mango vodka because I've got it in the cupboard But everything else we're buying very very exciting Hopefully these will get there in one piece these are from the new Sainsbury's collection the ones at the back They sent them to me the other day for um, a job that we're doing they're doing like a cocktail that represent each city in the UK and I've got Birmingham they're gorgeous I've got like a rose gold rim and then this is one of theirs as well it's actually doesn't leak which I'm surprised about because I normally prefer a Boston shaker when I'm making cocktails because they're just a little bit more professional a bit leak proof a bit sturdier but actually this is pretty good and the seal is very very good on it so um, quite heavy as well well done Sainsbury's hello tea oh my god I look like I've been dragged through edge back um, so I'm off to girls night, very exciting, although my journey is an absolute bugger. I said it was only going to take me like 42 minutes or something and then I got in the car, put on ways, and it was like 55, 57 minutes, it keeps going up. So I thought there was a crash but I think it might just be all the bloody road works. Anyway, I'm very much excited for it. We're going to be making Cosmos and Born Star Martinis, although our versions of those because we couldn't find passion fruit, vodka. So we're just gonna make it up, but I will make them taste amazing. Never fear. If there's one thing I do know, it's alcohol. 
Oh, we're so classy. Porn star martinis and pizza. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to McDonald's before the spa because we're both, well, you're not a mess, I'm a mess. <laughs> it was a fun night. Yeah. The cocktails were strong. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to the spa today, which will be lovely. We're going to have a hot stone massage and then some dinner. Every vlog that I've watched recently of yours, you're always in McDonald's. I know. Right it's really bad. <laughs> I just don't know why I'm not losing weight. <laughs> in our little leg chairs. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh my goodness, I look horrendous. I've got loads of oil in my hair. After our massage, we had a lovely hot stone massage and then we just frolicked around oh. in <laughs> the spa, in the pool. It's got a lovely little outdoor pool bit and we just checked into our room, which is very cute. Ah, oh, look us on a little romantic breakaway. <laughs> it's really nice here, actually. It's called the Malvern Spa. Um, and it's in Malvern, obviously. Um, it's, it's just so nice, like genuinely, really, really chilled out place and everything's pretty much brand new and the facilities are great. They've got like a big ice bucket and loads of different saunas, like a herby sauna, a salt room as well, which is really good for you. Like it, really like it here. It's all nice and relaxed and we're gonna go down for dinner. You're looking very snazzy and your little Thank you. tropical <laughs> free trousers. Cheers, my dog. Can we see a picture of you two ladies? No, thank you, we look like shit, but thanks <laughs> babe. Look at these, they're bloody huge. How's your pigeon? Steak, steak, steak. Mm. You've got the fanciest fish and chips ever with monk yeah. fish. Very nice. Cheese. Got some cheese. Ugh, back home at last. My little wifey over there. They're being attacked by a, a hideous creature. A monster. A monster. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and get some stuff for dinner. We're, Maggie's gonna, what are you making today? Risotto. A risotto, like a bacon risotto. And then we're gonna cook, bake <laughs> some brownies. But Maggie has a nut allergy, so we were gonna do my peanut butter, salted caramel, triple chocolate brownies. We can't do the peanut butter. So we're gonna put Biscoff spread in them instead. <sighs> they could be even better than before. I haven't baked for ages, I'm excited. Yay. It'd be nice. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I look absolutely horrendous, but enjoy my face. Um, and I won't see you for a weekly vlog next week because Maggie and I are going on holiday tomorrow to a mystery location. We're actually going away with a company called Wow Trips who basically just do the holiday for you and then you find out on the day where you're going. So this is very, very exciting. You're panicking because you like to be in control. I do but we're fine, we'll be fine. So it could be a multitude of destinations across Europe um, and we find out when we get to the airport very early on Tuesday morning. So there will be a blog about that. So hopefully you'll come and watch that because that could be really fun. Where do you, where do you want it to be? Prague. I would like it to be Prague or Berlin or Brussels. Bruges, it's not on the list. Bruges is not on the list, no. <laughs> Brussels is though. Um, where else? Or oh, Lyon, we could go to France and just drink wine for a couple of days. Oh, and eat baguettes, that would be lovely. Um, yeah, so that is the reason why there won't be a weekly vlog next week because we're going for pretty much the most of the week, but there will be a vlog from that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope you've enjoyed all the blog content that's been going on, all the Instagram stuff, all the other videos, and I will see you guys in a couple of weeks for another weekly vlog. Bye! Oh, look at you! No, you don't love me anymore. He's got someone else now. Toby, you were supposed to be the man that never left me. Go away for two nights and you've already replaced me. I need to put some makeup on before we go shopping. <laughs> Do you know what, Maggie? I feel like I'm living my best life right now. We are. <laughs> also, look who's here. It's Rosie. Well done.